Hello friends. Have you ever seen this thought cycle? Our thoughts create our emotions, which creates our actions, which creates our results, which reiterates our thoughts. So if we don't like the results of something, according to this, we can cycle all the way back and change the thoughts. When we change the thoughts, we change our results. If you follow anything that I do, whether it's my podcast or my blog or my teachings or my trainings, I talk about the thought cycle everywhere. This is related to our emotional intelligence. It's related to our leadership. It's related to our behaviors. It's related to our success. And, and it's not just me. It, it's all over. If you just Google thought cycle, you're going to see tons of research that's been done about this biological system in our heads. And seriously, this has been proven to be biological. It's in our brains. It's in our minds. Our thought cycle is really happening within us. Well, I've been doing a lot of studying lately and a lot of learning from other professionals about this thought cycle. And one of the people I'm studying with brought up something that has been monumental for me. He asked a simple question like, where do our thoughts come from? Hmm, that's a good question. Where do our thoughts come from? Well, they come from circumstances in life. They come just because we are alive. They, they just happen. And those circumstances, they are neutral. They're not good or bad. They're neutral. Pause the video right here, rewind it, and listen to this again, because this is the monumental, revelatory moment that I've been having. Our circumstances that we face in life are neutral. How we choose to think about them is when positive or negative will connect. COVID, the fact that COVID happened, that's neutral. How we respond is going to dictate whether it's a positive or negative experience for us. People get sick. It's neutral. It doesn't always feel so good. It doesn't always sound so good, but it's still a neutral circumstance. How we respond to it is up to us. It's our choice. So let's see this in action a little bit. I'm gonna give some examples of mine. Currently in the month of March, I'm not having a good sales month in my sales business. That is my thought. That's my belief system. That's the story I'm telling myself. I do not have the sales that I usually have. I am not where I wanna be. The emotion that it's creating within me, right? Remember the cycle, okay? The thoughts are gonna create emotions. The emotions that it's creating within me is frustration and disgust and desperation. Oh, and customers can really feel when you're desperate. Not good for business. So with those emotions brewing in me, what actions am I taking? Well, oh, everything's frustrating me. So I'm really not even wanting to take action. Or if I do take action, it comes out in my voice. Well, you know re what results I'm getting? I'm not getting more sales and I'm not going to have a good April. <sighs> Now I'm stuck in a negative spiral of thought cycle. And it's just gonna keep going and keep going. Okay, if there's a negative thought cycle that I'm happening, then there's an opposite opportunity. We'll just call it a positive story, right? Well, what would I feel if I could figure out what this positive story might be? What are the emotions that I would feel? Well, I'd be excited, I'd be motivated, I'd be like off and running, I'd feel empowered. What actions would I take? I would take actions that would help me be an amazing consultant for my customers. I would follow up with them. I would make sure I give them the best service that they need. And what results would that get me? Well, not only sales, but future sales and future business. And my whole business would just be erupting with success. Well, what's that positive story then? Well, if my negative story was, I'm not having a good month, hmm, my positive story could be, hmm, a new month is coming. <laughs> In a few days, a new month is coming. 
But you know what? I am not judged. My success is not judged by what I do. It's judged by who I am. And who am I? I'm a leader. I'm a rock star seller. I'm a businesswoman. I am successful. That's who I am. Whether it's a bad month or a good month, that's still who I am. You know, have you ever been around a very successful person and you try to just glean wisdom from them? So you ask them questions like, what are you doing to be successful right now? What, what exactly are you doing? Can you write down those words? Can I take your words and use them? Can I do those steps? I want to replicate that success. And when you do, when you take everything that they give to you and you replicate it, well, you don't really replicate it. it just doesn't work for you. Oh, why does it work for Susie? And it doesn't work for me. It's because of the stories that we tell ourselves. That's why it doesn't work for us. Our circumstances don't make us successful. It's how we respond to the circumstances that makes us successful. Our actions don't make us successful. Even though this little grid says, hey, our actions are going to create our results. That isn't where it started. It started up here with circumstances that fed into the thoughts. And at that point is when I decided which path I was going to take with that circumstance. You know, we don't really see things in this world for the way they really are. We see things for how we are. My husband always says that you cannot be where until you are first aware. So consider this your awareness training. You are now aware of what's happening in your, in your brain, biologically what's happening in your mind. If you feel emotions like my first set of emotions where it's just ugh, disgust, it's frustration, I'm complaining, I'm ugh, then maybe you're not on the right path for your thoughts. Maybe you need to back up and consider what a positive thought would be. You know, here's another limiting belief that I had when I was younger. When I was in my early 20s, I was a new wife. I was a new mom. I was new to the work world. I was new to living on my own. And a common thing I would say is, we don't have money for that. It's not in our budget. I know I would say that because my kids still say it to me. They still remind me what I said. Oh, don't ask mom. She'll tell you it's not in the budget. Well, you know what emotions that created in me throughout life, throughout those early years when a car broke down or my kids grew so fast, I had to go buy them more clothes or we just wanted an ice cream cone to stay sane over the weekend. If I, those emotions that happened within me when we wanted those kinds of things or when we needed those kinds of things, it was just frustration. I cried a lot. I didn't know what to do. I felt helpless. I don't like feeling helpless. I like feeling empowered. That is my mission in life. I'm Chef Kathy because I love challenging your habits so you are efficient and fully empowered. By the way, I like challenging my habits so that I'm efficient and fully, and fully empowered. I like feeling empowered. When I talk to people in all avenues of, of life, whether it's my selling business or it's the corporate clients that I work with or the medical professionals or the lawyers or the manufacturers, whoever I'm talking to, this is a common trend. The empowered feeling amongst people is not common at all. It's actually rare, but it all goes back to right here, what we all have between our ears. We all have the power to change our results. We really do have the power to change our success. You know, when I take the actions of somebody else and I try to replicate them, I'm not replicating their belief because I don't really know what their belief is. I don't get it. I'm not going to get the same level of success because my success is coming based on my thought pattern. So when you, when you, Hear this when you think about it. What challenges are you happening, having right now? You know, when it came to my negative belief structure related to our budget, nothing really changed until I changed my story. Over the last few years, my husband and I have a new story. Things are going to happen. 
Things are going to break down. Things are going to be needed in life. The numbers may not crunch out perfectly, but you know what? How can I make more money? That's our new story that we tell ourselves. How can we make more money? It, it, okay, maybe it, the boss doesn't, well, the boss never gives me a raise when I feel like I need it. <laughs> But maybe I need to downsize something. Maybe I need to sell something. Maybe I need to collect cans and turn it in for the nickels. Maybe I need to get a side gig and make more sales. Maybe I need to get a different job. How can I make more money? Sure is more empowering and fun and exciting than it's not in the budget. What story are you telling yourself? How do you need to think differently to truly find your success in life. You know, remember, circumstances do not create our success. It's how we respond to them. It's not because COVID happened. It's not because the shippings are delayed and we can't get things that we need that we order. It's not because Amazon Prime didn't deliver in two days. It's just how we respond to it. It's not because somebody cut you off in traffic this morning. Our day, our success will be dictated based on how we respond. And your success is really not based on what you do. It's who you are. So who do you want to be? Go be great today.